So um, next one is when we're going over this, guys, the main important thing is we need to remember the negative exponents, Nick. That's probably why you don't uh, remember it. So you have to remember negative exponents. How do we get negative exponents? Well, if you guys remember our rules were x to the negative m, to make that positive, you had to write it as the reciprocal. And if you had a negative in the denominator, a negative power in the denominator, to make it positive, you had to write it in the numerator. So the first step you guys had to do with this, this is just an extra step, the first step we had to do is we had to make this 1 half positive. So to do that, I'm going to rewrite it in the numerator. Okay. Now, the next thing is now we can rewrite our, um, rational root, our rational power as a radical expression. I don't need to write it over 1. So that's going to be the square root of 8 to the first power. However, ladies and gentlemen, we don't really write the 2 as far as the root. If we don't have a number there, we assume it's the square root. So any root higher than 2, you'd want to write in the number. But when it's just 2, we can just leave it as that. So we can rewrite this as the square root of 8. And then hopefully you guys also remember that um, the square root of 8 can be simplified. If you guys remember, if we were going to write this as the product of linear factors, that would be 2 times 2 times 2, right? where we can pull out a pair of 2's. So the simplified answer would be 2 square root of 2.